Okay, on these KitchenAid uh, Whirlpool bottom mount refrigerators where you end up with ice in the bottom of the freezer section, you'll find uh, ice down on the floor down here, a big slab of it usually, and water leaking out one of the corners. Uh, the actual fending device is uh, this little grommet, uh, which is installed at the bottom of the drain tube at the back. Um, and what it's supposed to do is allow the water to drain through and oops, allow the water to drain through Focus. Come on. There we go. Allow the water to drain through, uh, but then close up again. But they get sticky. Uh, this one is like it's literally stuck to my fingers, and I think it's it's probably because of the heat back there, um, leaching the oil out of the plastic and or out of the rubber and and making it sticky. But this is the device that has to be gotten out of there. And uh, there's a new drain tube kit that comes um, from Whirlpool that uh, is installed in its place. So. Uh, and here's, I'll show you how to install that drain tube. Just a quick video to show um, the easy way of installing this uh, drain tube um, kit into a, uh, a Whirlpool bottom mount that has uh, the drain blocked up with that rubber grommet at the bottom there. So uh, first thing you would do is you want to release the, uh, the panel so that you can get it out of the way. Um, sometimes I will disconnect these if they come off quick as well. Get the wires out of the way. Little screwdriver here. There we go. So, and then the other thing that I do is see if I can prop this up here so I can work. The other thing that I do is I uh, I snip the uh, I snip this the trough. I just get it right out of the way by cutting it off. So, just with your side cutters, chop it. Out of the way, so it's out of the way now. Uh, there's the uh, problem device here. This is the uh, the grommet. Uh, that is this one is really sticky, <laughs> sticking to my hands, um, and that is what gets blocked up, and that's what we're going to replace. So uh, now with this uh, with the trough, I'm more or less out of the way. My arms are going to be in the way here a little bit, but I just take a uh, my screwdriver. And I want to get it in behind because there's a little button that needs to be released from the back side here. So I'm going to need both hands for this. So I'm going to put the foot down here. And so uh, once you get in the, the hole, it should be just push in with your screwdriver and pull up on the, on the trough. And hopefully you don't break the trough, that's the key. There we go. So now the trough is out of the way. And um, so just to show you, that's where I'm pushing on with my little screwdriver to uh, release um, the tab, which is on the um, back side of here. The back side of this little molding is a little tab that you need to release and uh, to uh, get that trough on. So uh, cutting it in half gets it way out of the way. It makes it much easier. So, and then uh, I'll just uh, pause here for a second to get ready to install the new one. Okay, and so the uh, kit comes with this little tube and with a new grommet. And you want to push this tube up onto the um, stub at the bottom here. And you want to push it on so it's up all the way to the roof of the uh, fridge of the housing. And then your grommet, uh, the new grommet, will go over top of that. At least it should. Oop, this one is really, really tight. And time for a pause again. Okay, we got it here now. Oops, have to zoom back out. So now, um, focus. There we go. So now you want to get this also right up against the roof of the fridge, so it's nice and tight. And then uh, clip in the hands of the way. Clip in this part to the bottom down here like that. Make sure everything is tight, and that's it. That's installed. Um.
The problem, uh, the main issues are if you reef up on too hard on this down here, you'll end up breaking the pan and end up having to change this pan, which is not a fun thing. And it's a hard metal plastic, so it breaks really easily. So anyway, then reassemble. And uh, until the bottom loop here gets filled with junk, uh, which will be the next issue we're fixing, uh, until that gets filled with junk, you've got a, a clear drain uh, path with a loop in it so the air can't get into the unit. Uh, a clear drain to uh, drain your freezer section. Okay, have a great day, guys.